She's a commercial photographer and leader of a charitable organization helping children with physical disabilities. Tessa graduated in internet engineering and worked in a sales role at her Fortune 500 company. She worked there for five years before deciding to pursue her passion and she has received awards in Best Customer Care and Innovation and her photography has been featured in successful advertising campaigns. Tessa. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, so nice to be amongst friends tonight. Um, it's really an honor to be able to speak here. Um, so thank you very much for the invitation from the organizers. Um, yeah, so essentially, my talk is about following your dreams. It's about encouraging you uh, to go pursue your passion, be who you've always wanted to be. If you're already there, that's great. Um, but I thought that by sharing my story, I'd be able to inspire and encourage that fire within you and bring it out so that you can let others see it. So um, in summary, I'm, I'm a creative entrepreneur, as per my introduction. I've always been an ambitious individual, been very artistic. From the time that I could lift a pen, I just wanted to paint, draw, and color um, for, for as long as I could, really. Um, and even at age six, I had two pieces chosen to be in um, one of the galleries in London, the Royal Academy of Arts. So I always knew that art was my thing. Uh, that's the way that I expressed myself. I was creative. Um, so it was my dream to be an artist. I wanted to be in that creative field. But over time, fears set in and also the reality of um, being a struggling artist wasn't necessarily where I wanted to be. Um, also, being an ethnic minority woman in the UK at the time, hence where I got the accent, um, you, you face certain challenges of, of proving yourself, being somebody, standing up. So I decided to park that dream for a while and went into an IT career. So, um, but I kept the dream alive inside me. I knew that that wasn't it. I could still get to do what I really wanted to do, which was paint, take photographs and so on. So um, at the time, I took evening and weekend courses in photography, kept the skills up to date, and uh, took time off work to shoot fashion uh, shows, fashion events, um, also events on the weekends. Then, but after four years of being in IT, I knew I wanted something more out of life. I knew this wasn't it. There had to be something more. There had to be something that I could do to make an impact in people's lives. Art being one thing, but I knew there was something more. And I didn't want to leave this world and have nothing, no legacy to show. Nothing that I've never touched anybody's lives, that I've never done anything for people. Um, so I decided to sign up to do a sabbatical at the time. I, um, my parents were actually looking to start a foundation helping children with physical disabilities at the time too. But I got to realize that as a result of sharing what my vision was, opportunities came about. So um, after speaking with them, um, it looked like it would be something good to do. It was in line with impacting lives, changing lives, and doing, doing that side of things. Um, so I left, I left the UK, came to Uganda. Um, as, as I mentioned, initially it was a sabbatical. I thought, let me just try this, see how it goes. You know. um, so I came down, and it, I was amazed to see how I had come in to try and transform other people's lives, but my life was being transformed as a result. Um, to give the, the case of one uh, child, for example, that we support, her name is Monica. Uh, she was born without uh, limbs from the knees down. So as a result, she used to crawl on the floor to, to get uh, to school, to get to different places. So we um, gave her funding to, to get new prosthetic limbs from the knees. Um, and it was just amazing seeing somebody who had been in a situation, grown up that way. Uh, she was four years old when we first found her. Um, but now was able to walk tall, literally, and walk to school. Um, and s stories like that really transformed me. Also, another give a, a case of another child as well. Uh, his name's Tom Sange. He was born with very severe club feet. But we, we took him on the program. Um, to, just to explain, our program does helps with education, as well as buying um, mobility appliances like wheelchairs, crutches, uh, prosthetic limbs as well. So um, we worked with him to be uh, rehabilitated, which is essentially uh, working with his 
his disability to enable him to either walk or, or have access. So he now, again, walks to school, he's leading in his class, um, and, and stories like that really warmed my heart um, and made me realize that, yeah, I was going to stay, this is where I was supposed to be, um, because the type of work that I was doing was able to impact people's lives, but moreover, I was getting impacted as a result. Um, so, essentially, to encourage you, um, one of the one of the points, one of the takeouts from this talk that I wanted to encourage you with was, when you set your when you set your heart to something, um, and you have a vision, and and you pursue it, and you persist with it, good things can come out of it. But as well as that, so after doing the um, starting the charity work. Uh, then I also decided to open up my studio. I, I, I saw that it was time to come out and actually put myself out there as a professional photographer and open up my studio, which is called Photo ETC. Um, and as a result of getting out there, getting my work um, in, in front of clients and, and working with uh, different agencies, I was able to promote myself as well. Now, one thing I never explained was that Naturally, I'm actually quite an introvert. <laughs> it, it is not coming natural for me to speak here tonight, but it, even speaking here tonight is one of the things that was on my list to do as an action to overcome my introvert <laughs> nature. Thank you. <laughs> so you can do it too. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's, just, that's just one example. You know, um, ne Never leave your dreams. Never forget what you wanted to be. You know when you were really young and you told your parents, I really want to be this, this, and this. And maybe some of them might not be practical. Maybe, you know, being a, a rocket scientist at this stage may not be practical, but I have heard it happen. Um, maybe being a ballerina or something is not practical, but, you know, I have heard it happen. But follow your heart, follow your passions. Good things can happen. Um, there's a couple of other, of other ways to encourage you as well. Um, one of the things that I, some of the principles that I have, things like, you know, speaking here tonight, I, I refuse to have excuses, so I refuse to say, you know what, because I'm an introvert, I'm not going to speak ever, because that's who I am, it's never going to change. I said, no, come up and do this. Um, another thing, I'm very determined, or, you know, be determined in what you want to do, and, you know, accept failure as part of success. Failure does happen, it's not the end of the world. You learn, you pick up, you move on. To give you some inspiration, I, I like watching TED Talks, and um, I was inspired by one speaker called Diana Nyad, who at the age of um, 28, she first started her mission to um, swim uh, from Florida to Cuba. That's a 110-mile journey. You can imagine even walking that is quite a distance. So I was really inspired. She started that uh, mission when she was 28. She tried four times before she succeeded. The first time, she failed because she was swam in a shark cage. Uh, and because of the weather conditions, she kept banging into the shark cage and it was going to be too treacherous to complete. Second time, um, she had severe asthma, so breathing was difficult. Third attempt, uh, 33 years later, um, she attempted again, but jellyfish got in the way and she couldn't complete. At the age of 64, <laughs> 64 from someone who started from 28, she finally completed the mission and swam 110 miles unassisted from Florida to Cuba. And things like that just uh, really um, amaze me. They really encourage me, and I, I hope that that can encourage you too. Um, also, don't be scared to be vulnerable. Vulnerability is not weakness. Asking for help isn't a weakness. Um, I very much call on my support group. I have my family here today <laughs> supporting me, um, a couple of friends in the audience. You know, knowing that you need help or encouragement isn't a weakness, uh, so I'd encourage you to do that, to, to seek help where you need it. Um, but the most thing is, is you know, setting that vision. I, at the beginning of this year, I set a vision board, and I put up on it all the things that I wanted to do in 2015, and I got my support group to look at it, help, he keep me accountable, um, and yeah, we're getting there, I mean, it's, it's March, so it's still early days, but I, I trust that have, after having cast the vision and having people alongside me, and you know, doing things step by step, you'll be able to achieve it, um, but certainly once you have that vision, you're able to focus, and you'll be amazed how the opportunities come, you know, you might think, oh, but then 
I can set a vision, but oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's too late, maybe I don't have the right this or that, but no, set the vision, get, get your support group with you, you know, things can happen, um, and to encourage you again, you know, it's never too late to start, you might think, oh, it's too late, I'm now in my 20s or 30s, maybe 40s plus, this is it, wherever I am now, that's all, but no, um, Harlan Sanders, who started KFC, he started at age 65, it's never too late. Um, John Pemberton invented Coca-Cola when he was 55. Um, maybe someone who's a bit younger, Jan Coombe founded WhatsApp at age 35. Um, so there's, there's so many things that you can do. The world is waiting to see what that fire is within you. We want to see it. Bring, bring it to light. And, and don't have excuses. Be determined. Be vulnerable. But set that vision and get it out there. And that's what my talk is about. Follow your dreams. <laughs>